So hello, Dan. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. So we are called Glorious Glow Empowerment. Okay. And that's because I encourage, it's about bringing hope, really, to people. Okay. Yeah. To make them realize that their dreams are still possible. It doesn't matter how long ago they had this passion or desire or dream, you know, never give up. It's still possible. You can still realize your dream. So I mainly coach women. Okay. So yeah, I'm an empowerment coach. I coach women and yeah, that's what we do. But my audience on YouTube, everyone watches on YouTube. Okay. But when it comes cool. to the one-to-one -one work that I do, it's mainly with women. And okay. when I coach women to live their dreams and everything, I put God at the center. Right. So anyone who wants to coach with me and wants to realize their dreams has to know or will learn how to hear God because that's the only way to walk on purpose, you know, in, in the right path. Yeah. So that's what yeah. I do with my channel. <laughs> okay, awesome. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing this since, um, I think I'm fairly new, actually. I think since um, okay. late last year. Yeah. Okay. Not nice. too long. Yeah, we started, but we are keeping it simple today. We started today. our show in December. Oh, right. Okay. okay. We are keeping it yeah. simple today because you are all about sports. Yeah, a little more fitness than sports, mostly hockey, but yeah, I, I, love, I love sports. I love uh, movement and health and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely. Awesome. So for anyone out there who is listening and you think it's too late to get your fitness back, Dan is here to encourage you. It's yep. never too late. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in the right yeah, place sure. today. Introduce yourself, please. Let's meet you, Dan. Yeah, so my name is uh, Dan Romai. So it's like row my boat. Uh, it doesn't look like that, but that's how I explain to people. So okay. uh, it's Dan Romai. I own a gym. Uh, I own one gym in Lansing, Michigan. I have a online fitness business, um, which I mean, basically those two kind of got combined with the coronavirus going on right now. Um, mm -hmm. And then I also have a dad's fitness program. So we have a like over like a full body dad program. So we do, um, we do everything from um, fitness, health, we help with relationships. Um, I have a couple of life coaching certifications. Um, oh. And then we, I just started getting into like the financial realm. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't like doing that at all, but like I can give some tips. Like my wife and I have gotten out of a lot of debt in the last six months, purchased a home and are repairing our credit and now have money in the market. So um, awesome. we've had a big swing in the last six months. And so what we do with our dad's program is kind of take people from wherever they are and and we we initially assess them and see what they're what is going on with them um mm -hmm. where are they struggling um for some most people it's it's the fitness and the health first uh, because if you're not taking care of yourself uh, you need to figure out you know why are you not doing that yeah. and then you need to begin doing that and once you do that you start to feel a lot better but um that uh, we can talk about that later i'm supposed to introduce myself so i have, I have an <laughs> online fitness business and a gym um mm -hmm. i have two kids uh, a little girl who's two and about four months and then a little boy who's almost four months um, oh. and then I live at you know the house that we just bought with my wife my sister's currently staying like through the door over there um and she lives with us as well she's back from school um okay. her school got shut down so now she's doing on online classes with her school but she lives here with us now yeah and then I have one other sister as well who lives in South Carolina which is like 10 hours away from us okay so where exactly in the U.S. are you so I'm in Michigan. Um, so like close to, like, I, I'm like an hour and a half away from Detroit, like maybe four hours away from Chicago, probably about 10 from New York city. Um, so I, I'm pretty, I'm like really close to Canada actually, like an hour and a half away from, I mean, it's like probably an hour 45 to get to Canada bridge. Um, but we're like, you know, where all the great lakes are, are you familiar? Like how familiar are you with the United States? Well, great lakes. Yeah. Yeah. I have an yeah, idea. So I'm, I'm like in the middle of all the great lakes. Uh, oh, right. that's, I'm in like the, the Great Lakes state is Michigan. So like if you use your hand, like this is the map of Michigan. Like I live right here. That's just right so, there in the middle. Um, that's, <laughs> yep. That, yep. Right in the middle. So I'm, I'm in the capital. So, yeah. 
Oh, that's good. That's good. So tell us more about fitness. So we are in lockdown at the moment and it's difficult to keep fit. Yeah. We try to, in my family, yeah. see, I've come dressed for this occasion in my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we're so not going to we, work out today, don't worry. No, right we're not now. working out, but <laughs> I thought since it's about fitness, get the t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so what, what, is, what exactly did you want, like, what do you want me to talk through right there? Yeah, so since we're on lockdown, what would you advise people? What type of fitness is, um, can you, would you recommend for this time? How yeah, can we so, keep our yeah. bodies moving? it's really going to depend on where, like where you are and how strict the um, guidelines are. So like, are you guys like, not, are you guys allowed to leave your houses like and go for like walks and stuff like that or no? Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay. So that's similar to us then. So like all of our online clients, like we have workouts that we provide for them uh, and they're able to jump on. They're able to uh, kind of, you know, work through the programming that we release and every day is a new workout. Sundays are the rest day. Um, we have, we release six workouts a week that our members uh, can use. And then we also have um, our Facebook and YouTube channel. We release workouts that are completely free, um, but we have our paid program as well. But um, so we have completely all 100% body weight movements. And then we also have the um, like dumbbell, kettlebell, that kind of stuff. But for people that are just like looking to start moving around, um, realistically, like you just need to, you need to start with something and you need to make a commitment to doing that at least three to four days a week. And then you have to see that out. You can't, it's just, you know, it's just like, it's just like trying to, you know, get, get better, get closer to God. I don't like saying the word better. You're not, you can't become a better Christian, but like to, to get closer to, to God, to, to feel like you're, you're listening and you're hearing what he's talking yeah, about. Have a relationship. You have to start yeah. reading the Bible. You, yeah, you, it's a two way street and like yeah. fitness is a two way street, right? Like mm -hmm. you cannot just like show up one day for a workout and expect to lose 30 pounds. And that is a really big misconception. It's like someone will gain 30 pounds in a month and they'll be like, well, I need to lose all that weight right now. Well, okay, sorry, but <laughs> mm. like you're in for, you know, a little bit of a hike here. It's mm -hmm. going to take a little bit long, most likely. Now there are some people that can drop 30 pounds and snap a Fast. finger, but for the most part, for the most part, it, that does not happen. And, mm. and so for people right now in, in this lockdown scenario, um, there's a few things that you can do to continue moving. So I don't know about you guys. Uh, I would assume that Netflix is pretty big over there. Netflix is huge in the United States. Oh, yeah, States. it is. Um, yeah. Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, all that stuff. There yeah. are, like, we're actually making a video series right now we're working on. It's not out yet, but um, different movements that you can do while you're watching Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, Amazon, really? whatever. Really? That would um, be good. So that way, yeah. So, hey, over 30 minutes, you're going to burn, you know, 100 calories. Well, not a lot, but. Hey, if you do a wall sit for five minutes and then you plank for a minute and then you rest mm -hmm. for five minutes and you do mm -hmm. that three times over the course of, you know, your episode of the office, or I don't know what's, what's big on Netflix over there, but while you're, you're watching your episode of whatever, uh, you know, if you do that, then you begin to now, okay, now you're burning calories instead of just sitting on your butt doing nothing. Yeah. Uh, wow. And, and for most people that are locked down that are non-essential workers in the United States, like we have essential workers and non-essential workers. And so the essential workers are still out and about. And the yeah. non-essential workers are supposed to stay in their house all the time. Yeah. Now, I, I have a, a part-time job that I'm considered an essential worker. So I am the one that goes to the grocery store most of the time. I'm mostly mm -hmm. the one at my house that's doing all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, but, but for that, like for me, it's easier to get out and move around. I, I'm still active. I'm still working. But if you're stuck in your house and you're not working right now and you don't have you know, money to buy into a program or something like that, like the best thing that you could do for yourself is commit. Mm -hmm. To doing a few different movements every day so you could start with something simple like squats push-ups and sit-ups and maybe you know day one you do 10 and then yeah. day two you do 12 and you go up by two every day and that's all if that's all you're doing i can guarantee you that that's going to be better than you just sitting on your butt and binge watching the next most popular netflix thing that's going to come out yeah. tomorrow or what or, or you know what i mean yeah you know you don't, you don't have to watch tiger king 75 times you can do something different um mm. and you can, can kind of work through it that way yeah and and everyone in the family can do it at the same time as well right yeah absolutely absolutely now i have a two-year-old so it's a little tough like she she will kind of work out with us our four-month-old obviously doesn't work out with us. no <laughs> uh, but but so i own i own the gym so I, I go to the gym and work out still it's it's closed but like i still yeah. go there and my sister mm -hmm. goes there um my wife is is four months post baby so she's still kind of in between yeah. working out at the gym or working out at home but we do, like my sister and my wife do a ton of at-home workouts together. They do a bunch of the hit workouts. Like you can find workout videos on YouTube. On YouTube. Um, but 
Yeah, YouTube is a great resource. Like you can just type in at home workout and there are literally millions of, if mm -hmm. not millions upon millions of workout videos that you can use. And, you know, like for us, like we are just trying to, put, we just put content out there. So if people are looking for a change of pace that, you know, maybe they like, maybe they hear us on a podcast or something like me and they want to come yeah. see what we're about. You know, we give, we do give the workouts out as well, but like, you know, ultimately, you know, fitness is important, but the health side is more important. And, and that's where like our coaching program. So you talk about, you know, you coach people, you make sure that they understand that they have to listen for God and stuff like that. So I, I mean, we use faith in our program. It's not the, you know, that's not the main pillar because okay. we don't, um, we don't only work with the Christians. Like we work with a bunch of different people, but everyone, um, yeah. you know, for us, like, yeah, like our, our, our God, our, our pillar is, is the food. What are you putting in your body? That is the most important thing. Um, mm. And that is what we, we really spend the time. We, we spend a ton of time coaching people through that. Okay. Can you talk a bit more about that, please? The health side of it. So what should people avoid yeah. and what should we be so, eating really? Yeah. So everyone's going to be a little bit different. I know that's not the answer you probably wanted to hear, but you know, everybody no, but it's is a true. little different, right? And so, mm -hmm. yeah, so, you know, I, 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 I can tell you like a list of foods that are generally speaking healthy, right? So you like chicken, turkeys, you know, leaner steaks, leaner meats, that kind of stuff is good. If, if you're not a vegan or vegetarian, if you are a vegan or vegetarian, then you have your own list of things. Yeah. But fruits, vegetables, like basically the, the, the a really good rule of thumb, especially for a time right now is if it comes uh, packaged and processed, if, if you look at the ingredients and mm -hmm. it's more than like salt, water, and whatever the thing you're eating is, um, it's probably processed and it's probably not ideal for you to be putting inside of your body, especially right. if you're not moving around. Mm -hmm. And so for my family, um, you know, I go, I don't know if you guys have like large retailers, but we have like Costco, Sam's club yeah. here in the, in the yeah, States. Yeah, we have that and too. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So we go to Costco and um, you know, we actually just started really paying attention to our actual budget um, mm. like, and like paying attention to the pennies that are leaving our bank account. And I was like, we are spending way too much money on uh, food. And right. I'm like, we have to figure this out because we're like, we cannot, like, we can, and we have, but we're not going to continue spending, you know, two grand a month on food. That is outrageous mm -hmm. for five mm -hmm. people, really three adults and a child. That's nuts. <laughs> so, you know, we, <laughs> we went around and we looked at like, okay, what can we do to save money? And I'm realizing like, all right, Costco has like really, really good deals on things. You just mm -hmm. have to like, be willing to you have to be willing to go into it saying i'm going to eat you know chicken and you get there and hey maybe the chicken's not on sale but the turkey is like yeah. it's effectively the same thing right and so you have to be a little bit flexible you can mm -hmm. also do that at like your local discount stores like we have aldi here um or like we have kroger is our grocery store um mm. and so like you if you if you're willing to stop at two or three different stores to just yeah. kind of see what is on sale and what's not you can mm -hmm. come out with some really cheap stuff that's really, really healthy, but the food side is the most important thing. And so when you're like shopping in, in the United States, uh, you know, generally speaking, the outside of the store has um, the least amount of processed foods. Um, okay. And so like when you, when we walk into the store, we like uh, for the way both of our grocery stores in our town are set up is if you walk in the door and you go left, there's kind of the produce and then yeah. you loop yourself around. You have to you have to pass the bakery with all the cakes yeah, and stuff. So yeah, try yeah. not to fall into that trap. <laughs> but then you loop around the back and on the back wall is all the meats. And so you've got all the meats like lining half of the store in the back. And so now you've found the chicken, the turkey, the steak, the pork, whatever. Mm. Um, and then you, you know, you so you you go through, you get your fruits, your vegetables, uh, yeah. you close your eyes and you sprint through the bakery I'm and now you're at the <laughs> you sprint. Called Super Dad Academy. Um, like, that's become a passion project for me that I mean obviously it makes a little bit of money for us, but um, that's become something that I've been putting tons of time and effort into. And so um, I'm a gym owner. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I almost said I'm a wife. That's not true. <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> no, you're yeah, not. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, a very brief snippet. I'm also a very bad beer league hockey player um, that oh. enjoys playing hockey. So um, that's good. I, you know, I play at the lowest level, but it's super fun. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So can you tell us more about the program you said you have, the dad's program? What's that about? Yeah. So the Super Dads Academy, we, we take basically you know four main pillars and, and help dads with really three of the four. And then the fourth one we touch on. Mm -hmm. um, so we use health, fitness, uh, health being nutrition also. So like health, mental health, fitness, yeah. uh, relationships, because relationships are huge. With, if you're a dad, like you have 
a scope of relationships. I mean, everyone does, but particularly like a father, and that's what I can relate to. You have mm-hmm. a scope of relationships yeah. and then finances. So you have the health, you have fitness, you have uh, relationships and you have finances. And so those are kind of the four things that we focus on. Um, finances, we take a very, very lighthearted, um, non-aggressive approach at because I'm not a financial advisor. I have no certifications at all um, mm-hmm. other than just my own little nest eggs that we've been building up. Like I, I told you when we were recording before we lost yeah. it, that, you know, yeah. we, in the last six months, we've bought a house, got out of debt and now have money in the savings account and in the stock market. Um, so we, we've made wow. some really big changes and I know, I know we could do that for other people or not do it for them, but help them, help um, them. just with yeah. basic principles. Yeah. Just the principles. That's all. Nothing crazy. Um, but the fitness and the health and the relationships are really where, you know, uh, my expertise would lie. Mm, mm. So for, since we're on lockdown, so, and then you you have yeah. those areas you focus on, what's, can you advise people mm-hmm. quickly on each area on how to keep themselves moving and keep things going? For themselves and everyone else in the yeah. family yeah for sure so something as simple as you know squatting um doing a few push-ups doing a few sit-ups stuff like that every day would be awesome i mean it's better than nothing and if you're yeah. not told to stay in your house like if you're basically uh self-isolated more than anything not necessarily quarantine um you know if you're, if you're self-isolated then get outside when you can, go for a walk. It's pouring down rain here, so I will not be doing that today. But get outside, <laughs> go for a walk, go for a jog, something like that. Give yourself 30 minutes. Like, it, it is really, really good for, you know, the soul and the mind to, A, get outside and to, B, move your body. And so if you can do those two things at once, um, you start to get, like, a lot of clarity. You have more mental focus. It's really, really mm-hmm. awesome. Um, and then on top of that, like, while you're sitting down watching Netflix, because let's just be honest, probably every single person watching this video is also watching Netflix. Um, possibly at the same time, uh, <laughs> maybe some people are, but you know, if, if you, uh, between every episode of whatever show that you're binge watching today, you know, did 10 push ups, 10 squats and 10 sit ups, you're going to burn a lot more calories than just sitting on your butt doing nothing. Yeah. Um, especially if you're stopping yourself from eating the junk food and which kind of leads me into the health side of it. So mm-hmm. with, you know, continuous movement, if you include, or if you, um, also have better food choices, um, less processed food and yeah. you don't buy the snacks because because here's the thing if you buy the snacks you're empowering yourself to go in and get the snacks to from your cupboard them. and put them into right. your face mm. and so, right <laughs> and so if you if you avoid doing that right if you avoid going to the store and buying junk food and how i like to do that is i'll shop the edges of the store right mm-hmm. and so i will go you know hang a left out the store or in the store for me and mm-hmm. i'll go through the produce i'll pick up all my produce potatoes vegetables all that good stuff um, yeah. And then I'll loop around to the back of the store and I'll grab all the meat and foods and eggs and stuff like that that I need. And then I grab milk for my daughter, cheese for me, typically because mm-hmm. I love cheese. Um, mm-hmm. And then and I will grab a couple of things of like bread, tortillas if I need them. And then I'm at the yeah. register and I'm out the door in 20 minutes or so. Um, now, 20 like I minutes. Before, we, wow. You know, right now we're. That's quick. Yeah, super quick. And it, that's super the quick. fastest two, $300 you'll ever spend. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> But I, you know, I go through that real fast because I don't like being in the store in general, let alone right now. Um, yeah. I got just, it's just a giant waste of time, but I'm also not going to pay somebody else to go shopping for me. Like you could, no. um, so I like, I like to choose the stuff that I'm eating, but, um, so yeah. And then with the relationships, like you have to leave, you have to a, give yourself like put up boundaries. So, you know, my wife knows that if I'm up in this room where I'm at right now, um, I'm working and please yeah. don't let the kids come up here. Please also don't come up here unless it's an emergency or like text me or something. Not, not that I'm a dictator rude about it, but it's like, okay, I'm working. Like, please pretend yeah. that I'm gone. And yeah. if you really need me, text me. I'll come, I'll come downstairs. It's not a problem, mm-hmm. but like you have to put up walls. You have to put up those barriers because if you don't like all of a sudden you're going to be getting nothing done. Like that's kind of how I've been the last couple days because I've been working downstairs in the living room okay. um, and then you know I'll, I'll just be sitting there working and my daughter will come and run up on me and all of a sudden we're playing and I've gotten nothing done nothing um, done yeah and, so true yeah and so so for me like I also own the gym that I obviously like the gym that I have I own it um, so I still am working out at my gym so I have an office up there too so I occasionally I'll go up there and work which is nice because I get to a leave the house b I yeah. get to be alone in silence which is also great right now um, and I, know, I understand a lot of people don't have that luxury, um, but where mm. you can be alone and in silence is out walking, uh, yeah. you know, outside. Yeah. So you can go outside, you can throw some headphones on and you can listen to your podcast or my mm-hmm. podcast or your yeah. YouTube channel, you know, mm-hmm. oh, you can yours, do all yeah. those different things mm-hmm. and, and you, 
Yeah. Uh, you know, you could do all those different things or you could just not have headphones and just go for a walk. That, that space inside of your brain is super nice. Like it's mm. very, very nice to have, even if it's just five, 10 minutes a day of like nothing mm. because it forces you to kind of think and realize like where you're at. Yes, so true, so true. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that my channel really is about bringing hope and helping you to realize that you can live your dream no matter what it is, fitness goals. That's what Dan is talking about today. I seem to have lost Dan, but I hope you all got what I said. This channel really is about bringing hope and encouragement to people to help you understand that irrespective of whatever dreams you have, your dreams can be a reality. With God, all things are possible. The women I coach, I always ensure that they put God at the heart of their um, dreams, whatever they do, because without God, we can't really understand our purpose. So my channel is about helping you understand your purpose, helping you, ensuring you're able to live your dreams, irrespective of what that dream is it's still possible don't give up never give up so dan came in here today to talk to us about fitness and healthy lifestyle so i put on my t-shirt today ready for you know when fitness we are not actually working out but i thought since it's about fitness come in my t-shirt unfortunately we've lost dan that's fine i think we've um, discussed most of the things for today and thanks everyone for watching and i hope you did enjoy this episode i will be ending it now if you have any questions go to my website it's called gloriousglowempowerment.com i would love to hear from you thank you take care and god bless bye